Thankfully, the storms held off for Holly Springs, but not for everyone. This video just in from one of our viewers, Aaron Griffin from North Raleigh around the Briar Creek area. He slowed down some of the many, many lightning strikes throughout the area. Unfortunately, this lightning came along with some heavy rains, some severe thunderstorms. The lightning caused some damage. An amazing shot as long as that is not in your neighborhood. Hope everyone did OK tonight. We got some rain. Would have been nice to have it to cool us off in the afternoon, but it proceeded into the evening and some of it still holding on. Nothing severe, meaning no damaging wind, no tornadoes, no hail. And at this point, we're going to be hard pressed to produce some of that because it is so late. We've lost so much of the daytime heating, but still some strong storms with heavy rain and lots of lightning still moving through parts of Franklin, Nash on into northern parts of Johnston County there. In fact, let's put a track on this. It's moving off to the southeast, kind of the east southeast, about 30 miles per hour. So heading toward Rocky Mount about 1140 just after midnight in Pine Top, Stantonsburg just after midnight and then on to the east. That's one cluster. We've got another small cluster that's just passed through you guys in Smithfield moving right there over I-95 in Johnston County. Four Oaks getting in on that too. Some heavy storms there and then back up uh, to the north in Virginia, Mecklenburg County, Clarksville, just some light to moderate rain. Nothing severe there, but as I mentioned, it was severe earlier. Look at all the damage reports. Again, you see the little broken tree. That's a wind damage report. This obviously is lightning. A lot of it back to our west, but unfortunately Unfortunately, Orange County getting in on some of the uh, wind damage. This is severe thunderstorm wind damage happened just after nine o'clock in Eflin. Several trees down. We also had a couple of lightning strikes, one in Hillsborough in Orange County. Read this with me. Lightning struck a home causing a fire. So again, not widespread damage, but some storms have caused some problems tonight. And while there will be some storms tomorrow, I think it's the heat that is going to be more of a headline stealer, unfortunately. It'll start very muggy, 72 degrees. You know how muggy it felt today. It's going to be just as humid tomorrow, but it will be hotter, a little drier, fewer clouds, hotter temperatures. By lunchtime, 87 is going to feel like 95. We've got temperature over the heat index tomorrow. Smaller storm chances again later in the day, like usual for this time of year. 93 will be our high, but that's going to feel like 100 degrees. So we're in the dangerous heat zone here. So make sure you're taking care of yourself, your friends, your family, the kids, the elderly tomorrow. This stationary front going to hang around for another couple of days. And as it hangs around, it will destabilize our atmosphere, giving us our chance of late day storms. And that'll be pretty much the forecast Thursday and Friday. It'll be hot in the low 90s. We'll have those late day storms. Then as we get into Saturday, that stationary front starts to move out and dissipate and an actual cold front approaches our area again, giving us the chance of storms and it doesn't happen often, but this July front will most likely move through dropping our temperatures just a little bit and our humidity just a little bit. Nothing drastic about this, but we'll take every little bit we can. And just as we talked about earlier, a system out in the Atlantic with the possibility of developing, well, it developed tonight. The National Hurricane Center has initiated coverage in Tropical Depression 4 with 30 mile per hour winds. It is way out there, but it is also not expected to become a tropical storm. You look at the path and it looks a little worrisome heading for the United States, but look at the strength it will have through Friday and through early next week barely increasing in intensity at all, let alone becoming a tropical storm. So not too worried about it, but we'll keep an eye on it. In the meantime, I'm more worried about the heat tomorrow. Could be one of the hottest days of the year so far for most everyone with just a 20% chance of storms. We'll keep those low 90s around Friday and Saturday. And then guys, if that front does move through, which it is looking like a good possibility, we'll cool all the way down to the upper 80s. So again, it's not much, but we'll take it. Unfortunately, most of the seven day does have highs in the low 90s, so 